What up, my low gangsters? You know, I'm about to get a haircut right now. And it's gonna get rid of this fucking thing. I'm keeping the top, actually, but the sides are going. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Today's Friendsgiving day. You know what's up. We're gonna get the the friends together, as you do for th Friendsgiving. But it's culture themed. So we gotta bring a dish of our own culture. I'm bringing in the pumpkin risotto. A little bit of Thanksgiving vibes with the italian -ness. You know, I gotta go get a few more things from the grocery store, but first I gotta get this haircut. Bye bye. Hi. Well, I'm gonna be cooking pastelitos or buñuelos, mm -hmm. which is like an appetizer, and it consists of a fried mass made out of corn. I bought a 12 of these cones, which I think that is way too much, by the way. And <coughs> ranchero queso fresco cheese to add something to, to the bread, you know? My dad is helping me to cook from Panama. Jamaica, ooh, fancy. I gotta go to Costco and get some good old sweets and wings. Ah. Let's start taking the grains out of the corn. Okay, now let's put it here so we can squash it. So this is my first attempt of a pastelito. Horrible, as you can see. This is the second one, and I think that I'm getting the hang of it. It's getting better. I'm excited, and I'm very anxious, and I'm super stressed. Yo, mm. it's my turn to cook. Woo. Woo. We got the ground pork, boom. We got more ground pork, boom. We're gonna cook the ground pork, boom. <laughs> soup, vegetable broth, soup, chicken broth. Now we have Mine's gonna be the tastiest, most flavorful piece of shit you've ever had. Mm. Oh my god, it's full of oil. Oh. Oye, esto se ve bonito. Mira, está espectacular. My food is gonna taste better than your food. You are lying. Nah, mine, mine, mine. mine, mine, just you watch. The secret is it's Indian food, so it can't be that good. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be making an Asian appetizer called Xiao Long Bao and it's right here. Hi, I'm editing this video and I don't know how to spell that word. So I couldn't find a picture. Enjoy! It's basically a Chinese soup dumpling. It's currently 12.30. Here are the ingredients that I have for now. Two things of chicken broth, two packets of ground pork, all-purpose flour for the dough, and I have ginger. So the first step is to cut up some ginger. I don't actually have the exact measurements. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper. Now I'm just going to heat this up or I would say maybe is boiling. Hello, I'm gonna cook a salad, Olivia. Let's start. This is what we have. We have ham, potato, eggs, we have cucumber, we have green onions. I bought the ham already sliced, so I don't need to use my knife much. Now let's do potato. I already boiled potato and eggs. The only thing that I need to do is peel them and cut in the pieces. So now just let it boil. We lost the rest of Darlene's clip. We have this picture of the food. It was very nice. Safety is number one priority. No guys, actually I don't wanna start drama. Forget the faces. The food was actually nice. Yes. Now we go to cucumbers. The smaller cut, the better taste. Now let's go with Theo's recipe. As always, she did everything wrong. <laughs> she shot in the wrong aspect ratio. She didn't talk in the video, so she had to film a voiceover. So you guys enjoy the next four minutes of Theo cooking. I told the wrong information. <laughs> no. That's not what happened. Hey, so I kind of mixed up how we were going to shoot this video, so mine's in vertical, sorry. So my cultural offering to this Friendsgiving celebration would be a lamb biryani. I'm half Indian, I grew up on Indian food, so I figured I'd make something that was kind of dear to my heart. And this dish is incredibly dear to my heart. This dish was the number one thing my grandmother used to make for me and my brother growing up. And uh, she recently passed away, so this was a very special moment for me to try and do. Especially because this is the first time I've ever made this dish. <laughs> I love cooking. 
cooking, I really do. But I told my mom that I would never make it so that she had a reason to come and visit me in the US, which, I mean, that's a valid reason. If you've ever had this dish, I, you would understand. You really would. Anyway, so this is a very complicated dish. There's so many ingredients and it takes a very long time to make. Like, it took me 10 hours in this one day. I mean, I started at 9 a.m. and wasn't even ready when our guests arrived for the Friendsgiving celebration, so... <laughs> So anyway, as you can see, I started out making the marinade for the meat. I had about two pounds of uh, lamb, which was actually less than my mother makes. She makes about four pounds. Uh, I'm guessing, I don't know, I use kilograms. Uh, metric system, yay. Um, but we had so much food, so I just kind of cut it in half. The marinade is mostly made up of yogurt and spices, which is kind of strange. Like, no, you don't really hear that, like, marinade being made up of yogurt a lot. But this is a lot of yogurt, and you just put a bunch of spices in it. I'm not going to really go through all of it, because this video would be way too long for that. You just gotta make sure you pick out the right curry powder because that is really what the flavor is all about. <laughs> Going on to the potatoes, uh, we didn't have a peeler, so I went back to the cooking roots and used a spoon. <laughs> Once the potatoes are all chopped up, you kind of put them in a bowl, set it aside, and you put some hot water just to kind of leave it to boil a bit. I put in some turmeric and some other spices as well to kind of add it some flavor. And yeah, then we get on to the onions. Oh, I hadn't cut onions in a long time, so my eyes started to hurt. Oh my god, I was crying. <laughs> But anyway, with the onions, you want to get that kind of ring shape. Like, if you were to make a burger or whatever, you know? It's got to be very round and very ringly, you know? And then with the rice, I don't know. I'm not really used to using a rice cooker. I usually just boil it in the pot. But I decided to give it a go because everybody was cooking and I didn't want to use too many dishes at the same time. So I just popped it in the rice cooker, put some bay leaves, some cinnamon sticks, some fennel, some turmeric, and cardamom pod. While we also do the potatoes, you kind of also just boil the uh, lentils. I left that onto the stove for a bit and I also kind of made this little puree of ginger and garlic which my mom does Then I started to kind of cook up the potatoes. I made mine a little too soft. So um, The potatoes started to kind of cake into the bottom of the pot while I was frying them So I decided not to make them as crunchy once the potatoes were done I just took the onions and I popped it into the pot and you just kind of just mix it around You got to cook it until it gets a little nice golden color. Don't overcook it too much Don't burn it because if it burns then you're gonna taste that. And after that's done, you just add in a bunch of spices. I added in a bit of fennel because I like the taste of fennel. After that, I started chopping up some chilies to kind of add into it. And once we do that, we just add in the meat that I left to marinate from the beginning of the morning. At this stage, I know it looks kind of short, but... <laughs> I had been cooking for a long time at this stage. I think the, the meat had been marinating for about five hours by this time. Anyway, then the rice was done. I added the lentils and I kind of mixed it together. Once it's mixed properly, you just kind of put the potatoes back in. Uh, put in some like coriander on the top just for a garnish. And once it's ready, put on the lid. Put on some oven mitts. Preheat that oven and pop it in. You gotta bake it for at least an hour. And uh, yeah, it's ready to eat. Gorgeous. I'm so happy I did this. Even if I fuck it up, I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs>